or psychological trauma is when a person is affected by the experience they've had. This is um, usually during childhood, so this is that's why I've um, I've titled um, my content today um, "How to Heal from Psychological Trauma." because most of these experiences will be from childhood so it won't just be like something that you've just grown up into it'll be something that um is being there from childhood so um number one of my point is you have to ground it so um how to heal from psychological trauma you have to ground it when i'm talking about grounding it is um when you do, you do meditation basically what have happened uh, what happened during meditation is um, you close your eyes everything you're feeling you have to feel in your body and make sure it's just down on the floor like ground it you have to ground it and you can do this through regular meditation um, I will recommend doing like a five to seven minute medication meditation every day so that you can it can help you with um, coping with childhood trauma so that's number one point put that into consideration there's a lot of my videos talking about meditation so grant that grant um, your psychological trauma and number two of my point is you have to recall it recall the experiences you've had when you were little to everything that is causing you trauma every, anything that is causing you um, bringing about unhappiness that is um, making you not just not bringing out just real you like the person that you you want to be recall it it's okay if you recall it you can't just say something is fine and you're not trying to recall it try to recall it think about what happened what have happened to you in the past what's causing you to um do some certain things you want you don't like to do try to recall it for me as an um, example i i think i can remember what happened to me since when i was six years old so um six years of age so if i want to um make sure um i'm coping uh, with um childhood trauma i will try and recall them so recall those experiences fine so and number three of my point is sense it you have to sense it sense it like you have to take yourself to a state a state where like when uh, um when the experience had happened just sense it like be in that state when it's happened and when those experiences have happened um i know we try to just want to forget things but i don't think forgetting things and not recalling them or sensing them we hope in the long run you want a long lasting position uh, solution you need to be thinking about all this step i've told you and number four um of my point is name it name those experience name it it's okay if you're talking to yourself it's okay if um you want to know what have happened name them name them try to know what have happened and um you need to love them is that to say you're loving them because it is what has happened to you and you don't want it to have happened to you in the past but all of this point we help you in the long run in the long run so love them love those experience love it because part of growing is um challenges like um part of growing in life is and uh, things that have happened to you in the past and you've taken them on board to grow as a person so love them because um i wouldn't say rome was built in a day apple was just discovered today i'm sure there'll be lots of work in um they put in place before um there is apple there's a lot of work in place before something is actually launched so from challenges from difficult situation um you can learn from it and that can it will make you grow if you've taken that on board i am now but thank goodness that i'm in a state where i was say okay i am growing but i did took um all those trauma all those experiences on board to go as a person went to college and now i'm in uni 
how much they've been going um like i'm growing and i can feel it i'm growing because i'm not just in uni i'm not just in college because i want to be there i'm in college and in uni because um that is what i really really wanted to do because i wanted to do is what i'm doing and i really wanted to make an impact in my world even before i started college or uni i've already started my youtube channel and although i did start with them um, they are right product they are very simple what i wanted to be doing along way is impacting people making a difference in people's lives and that's why i'm creating content around it right now so you want to love the experience so that you can go through those experiences as a person. Um, those experiences can go you. You can discover who you are in the process by just being alone by yourself, craving that time to fulfill who you are. Like just knowing you, just make sure you know you. You cannot say another person is going to fulfill you. Another person is going to make you happy. Another person is going to give you what you want. It all have to start with you as a person because all of those things other people are giving you, they are all additional things. You yourself want to like already be in the state where you are loving you, you know yourself, you do things by yourself, you've already um um you are achieving your goal you've achieved your goal you're happy you're totally you by yourself so when you have friends when you have family when you have any other thing it's just addiction that's why you have to love past experience you have to love your trauma so that you can go through those challenges and um number seven of my it is you have to feel it and experience it and um i think i've explained that earlier feel those things you've experienced in the past and you have to experience it i've actually really covered that if you need more explanation don't forget to leave me a comment in the comment section so that i will explain what that means i'm always happy to um explain what that means to you but i think i've covered that that's why i'm not really talking about that and you need to um, receive the message and uh, receive the message, you know, your childhood trauma, the experiences which you've had, you need to receive the message and you need to apply wisdom to it. What have you gotten from those experiences? How is it going to grow you? How is it going to help you in the future? Receive it and uh, apply wisdom to it so that you can get the most out of those experiences so it won't repeat itself again. Because if you don't receive it and if not just wisdom, like um, apply wisdom to um, grow you as a person, it might actually happen to you again. You'll be like, oh wow, how did this happen to me? That's because you've not received the message and you've not applied wisdom to it. So growing up and um, coping with um, childhood trauma, um, healing from childhood trauma is for you to receive it and um, just apply wisdom to it that will help you heal from childhood trauma then um another one of my point is you have to share it i'm not saying if you're not someone who's got like a social media um you know a social media person if you just have a friend like you have a friend someone you trust a family it can be your child as well and just share it the more you share something the more you know you will learn from it and i know that's like you forgetting it like just share it and for me part of me healing as a person from trauma from childhood psychological emotional trauma is sharing it that's why i've had this my youtube channel and my tiktok as well i've got my social media network to share my experiences so that someone else if you are going through that experience will have actually learned from it and grow from it share it do not say you're gonna be mute about it don't say you're gonna be quiet about it because when you're saying it out you're sharing it that we hear you as a person you know um part of being um um part of the things that cause people being distressed or having a bad mental health is like not saying things out not sharing things you just want to keep everything to yourself no don't keep everything to yourself you need to have like that one person at least one person it can be a friend it can be a 
family, it can be your child. There is no way you will not have one person, at least one person you can talk to. So you can just talk to at least one person. You don't trust anyone. And uh, you feel like, for me, it's part of me now to talk on camera. It's part of me to share my experience with people. So I just go on my YouTube channel, go on TikTok, go on Facebook, anything. Like, um, I'm being responsible about it because you cannot share everything. So when you're sharing things to the whole world, be careful what you don't want to, what, what you don't want other people to know or what, what you don't want to share, you, you're not actually just saying it. And there's a lot of editing there as well because after I watch it, because of my video as well, I just edit it as well and to, you, you know, so be responsible about it, but there's no way you won't have one person you share your experience with out of healing from traumatic, traumatic um, psychological emotional trauma you share with. And the last of my point is um, let it go, let it go, let it go. The points I mentioned about um, above, like grounding it, we call it sense your trauma love it love trauma your trauma name your trauma feel and experience your trauma receive the message of your trauma and apply wisdom share it if you apply all of these points then you should let it go naturally we happen because from if you're following on my step from the very first one to like the eighth one it will just happen naturally. The letting go will happen naturally. So, guys, I hope you've enjoyed my video today. And this is a place where you have um, positivity and you grow as a person and you live your life on purpose.